Title, The Mystery of the Missing Samosas Once upon a time in Furfuri Nagar, Motu and Patlu were enjoying a peaceful day at their tea stall when suddenly they heard cries for help coming from the nearby bakery. Rushing to the scene, they found their friend Chaiwala in distress. What happened, Chaiwala? asked Motu, concern etched on his face. My precious samosas have vanished, wailed Chaiwala, pointing to the empty tray on his counter. Motu and Potlu exchanged glances, knowing that where there was trouble, there were adventures to be had. Determined to solve the mystery, they set out to investigate. Their first stop was Dr. Jatka's lab, where they hoped to find some clues using his latest invention, the Super Detective Spectacles. Putting on the spectacles, they scanned the bakery for any signs of foul play. Suddenly, the spectacles beeped, indicating a trail of crumbs leading out the back door. Following the trail, Motu and Patlu found themselves in the heart of a bustling marketplace. They questioned the vendors, but no one had seen anything suspicious. Just as they were about to give up, they spotted Gasita Ram, the local grocer, acting strangely. Sneaking up behind him, they saw him munching on a familiar-looking samosa. Confronted with the evidence, Gasitaram confessed to stealing the samosas to satisfy his craving. Apologizing profusely, Gasitaram promised to make amends by treating the entire town to a feast. Motu, Patlu, and Chaiwala forgave him, and peace was restored to Furfuri Nagar once again. As they enjoyed the delicious treats, Motu and Patlu reflected on yet another adventure solved, grateful for the excitement that always seemed to find them in their beloved town. With their bellies full and the mystery solved, Motu and Patlu returned to their tea stall, where they regaled their friends with the tale of their latest adventure. The townsfolk cheered, grateful for their heroes' quick thinking and bravery. But just as they were settling back into their routine, they heard a loud rumbling sound coming from the sky. Looking up, they saw a giant hot air balloon descending upon Furfuri Nagar. Curious and excited, the residents gathered around as the balloon touched down in the town square. Out stepped an eccentric explorer named Professor Fatake, accompanied by his trusty sidekick, a talking parrot named Polly. We've come in search of the legendary lost city of gold, declared Professor Fatake, his eyes shining. With the sun setting on their grand adventure, Motu and Patlu returned to Furfuri Nagar as heroes once again. The townsfolk greeted them with cheers and applause, grateful for their bravery and resilience. But even as they basked in the glory of their latest triumph, Motu and Patlu knew that there were always more adventures waiting just around the corner. With a twinkle in their eyes and a spring in their step, they looked forward to whatever challenges and mysteries the future held. As night fell over for Furi Nagar, Motu, Patlu, and their friends gathered around a roaring bonfire, sharing stories of their exploits and dreaming of the adventures yet to come. For in their hearts, they knew that as long as they stood together, there was no obstacle they couldn't overcome and no adventure they couldn't conquer. And so, under the starlit sky, the brave duo of Motu and Patlu vowed to continue their journey, knowing that wherever their adventures took them, they would always find friendship, courage, and the thrill of discovery. With that, they settled in for the night, the warmth of the fire and the laughter of their friends surrounding them like a comforting embrace. And as they drifted off to sleep, they knew that tomorrow would bring new challenges, new mysteries, and new adventures to be had in the vibrant and enchanting world of Furfuri Nagar. The next morning dawned bright and sunny over Furfuri Nagar, signaling the start of a brand new day filled with endless possibilities. Motu and Patlu awoke with a sense of excitement tingling in their bones, eager to embark on their next adventure. As they made their way to their tea stall, they were greeted by familiar faces and cheerful greetings from the townsfolk. It seemed that everyone was buzzing with anticipation, wondering what thrilling escapades awaited them in the bustling town. But just as they were about to settle in for a quiet morning, they were interrupted by the sound of loud cheers and applause coming from the town square. Curious, Motu and Patlu rushed to investigate, only to find a group of performers setting up a colorful stage. It turned out that a traveling circus had arrived in town, bringing with it a dazzling array of acrobats, clowns, and exotic animals. Motu and Patlu exchanged excited glances, knowing that this was the perfect opportunity for yet another adventure. They spent the entire day marveling at the spectacular performances, laughing at the antics of the clowns and gas. As night fell over for Furi Nagar, Motu and Patlu reflected on the day's events, grateful for yet another successful adventure. They sipped on their tea, surrounded by the comforting hustle and bustle of their beloved town, 
feeling content in the knowledge that they had once again made a difference. But even as they relaxed, their minds buzzed with excitement, eagerly anticipating the next adventure that awaited them just beyond the horizon. For in Furfuri Nagar, every day was an opportunity for excitement and discovery, and Motu and Patlu wouldn't have it any other way. As they bid good night to their friends and prepared to turn in for the night, they couldn't help but smile at the thought of the countless adventures that still lay ahead. With hearts full of courage and determination, they drifted off to sleep, knowing that tomorrow would bring new challenges, new mysteries, and new opportunities to make a difference in the world. And so, under the watchful gaze of the stars, Motu and Patlu embraced the spirit of adventure that had always guided them, ready to face whatever the future held with bravery, laughter, and friendship by their side. For in the end, they knew that as long as they stood together, there was nothing they couldn't overcome and no adventure they couldn't conquer in the vibrant and enchanting world of Furfuri Nagar. As the first light of dawn broke over Furfuri, Nagar, Motu, and Patlu were already up and about, eager to embrace the new day and all the adventures it promised. They greeted the sunrise with smiles on their faces, ready to embark on yet another thrilling journey. Their tea stall was bustling with activity as the townsfolk gathered to start their day, and Motu and Patlu wasted no time in serving up steaming cups of chai and delicious snacks. But even as they worked, their minds were alive with excitement, wondering what exciting escapades awaited them. Suddenly, they heard a loud commotion coming from the outskirts of town. Curious, they hurried to investigate and were astonished to find a group of lost travelers in need of help. Without hesitation, Motu and Patlu sprang into action, offering their assistance and guidance to the weary travelers. Together, they embarked on a journey through the dense forests and winding paths surrounding Furfuri Nagar, braving obstacles and overcoming challenges along the way. With Motu's strength and Patlu's quick thinking, they led the travelers safely back to town, 